NoteFlight plays pretty well with scanned documents. I've got the Rose Etudes here, and I've got the app PlayScore 2 on my cell phone. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm just going to take a picture of it using the app and the camera on my phone. So you have to take a good picture and get it lined up. There's little grid lines there. There we go. And you can hear it. change the tempo. It's kind of amazing. So now to get this into NoteFlight, I'm going to give it a title, and then I'm going to hit this export button, and I'm going to save it as a music XML file. Then all I have to do is email it to myself. So just your standard email app, write it to yourself, give it a title, and hit send. It goes right to my email, and then I'll just take the XML file, drag it to the desktop. I'll close my email program, and then go to NoteFlight and use Create. I'll start by importing that XML file, find it, and open it. OK. There you go. It's as easy as that. the articulations made it through the scan. So here's another thing I can do. Of course I can edit, uh, I can change this, I can transpose it, I can do anything I want with it, but I can also practice with it. If I click this top bar up here, I get this play button and this loop uh, arrow. So by holding the shift key and clicking the next measure, I can select two bars. So I can play this and it will repeat. It's really, really handy. So I can also go to this uh, sound section over here and hit speed. And then I can bring the speed down. And then I'll hit play again. And I'll loop it at a different speed. That's very handy.